You know, there were several supernatural things that occurred after Jesus resurrected from from the grave. After he was risen again, uh, he he went and he was collecting uh, all of his blood to take to the mercy seat. And Mary Magdalene was the first one there at the tomb uh, that day uh, on, on Easter Sunday morning, or the day that we... Uh, celebrate as his resurrection. Uh, she was the first one at the at the tomb, and she was looking in, and and the body was gone. Uh, and she began to weep. And he comes to her in John chapter twenty, and he says, uh, "Woman, uh, why do you weep, or why do you cry?" And she said, "Well, they've taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have taken him." And she supposed that he was the gardener. She didn't recognize who he was. His appearance had changed. And then he said, Mary. He called her by name. And she recognized that he was uh, Jesus, uh, the Messiah. He was her Lord. And she said, oh, Rabbi, or oh, Master. And, um, and this, this was a supernatural occurrence. Uh, that she was able to recognize him only by his voice and that he called her by name. And I think that as we think about these supernatural occurrences after the days of the resurrection, that we can learn something from these, these occurrences. And Jesus calls us by name. And when he calls us by name, then we... We know that it's his voice, we are his sheep, and we know his voice, and we can follow him without any uh, hesitation. There's a next occurrence uh, that, we, that we see here um, in, in John 21, uh, as we just go right over across the page. Um, the disciples were discouraged after the resurrection, and they said, well, we're just going to go back to fishing. And so they all go out in their in their boats and they begin to to fish and and they toil and and they catch nothing. And Jesus is is standing on the shore and he calls out to them and he says, "Friends or brethren, do you have any fish?" "No," they answered. He said, "Throw your nets on the right side." And you will find some. And when they did, they were unable to uh, to haul it in because they had so much uh, that they had caught. They had to call the other little ships, uh, boats around them to come and help them. But John the Beloved recognized his voice. And then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is our Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is Lord, he wrapped his outer garments upon him and he went to shore. What can we gain from this? Again, Jesus calls to them. Again, they know his voice. A supernatural occurrence uh, after uh, the resurrection. And now let's go to one more. And this is in Luke um, chapter 24, verse 30, where there are uh, two men that are walking uh, on the road going to a village called Emmaus. Jesus appears and begins to walk with them. And they begin to talk about the resurrection and the, they begin to talk about the, the death of the cross. And, and, and he says, uh, Jesus says in verse 17, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you a visitor here? Do you not know what has gone on? And, um, and, and they go on and tell him about the events uh, leading up to the, the crucifixion. And, um, and in verse 25, And he said unto them, How foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken! Did not Christ have suffered these things and then enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them 
what was said in the scriptures. Then they invite him to come in and have a meal with them. And as he broke bread, their eyes were enlightened. Their eyes were opened up and they recognized who he was. You know, and I believe that it takes the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit not only to raise up Jesus from the dead, not only to call us by name so that we understand his voice and can hear his voice, but also to open up our eyes, to open up our understanding of the scriptures. And that's what Jesus did for these men going uh, to Emmaus that day. You know, I thank the Lord that he is alive and he is doing well. And he is supernaturally touching our lives today. He is still calling our name. He is still opening up our eyes to the scripture that we can see what he really wants us to do. You know, these are the days after the resurrection. These are the days uh, that are glorious. These are the days that we're living in right now that we can feel his presence, that we can know his voice, and that we can move in the Holy Spirit. I thank you for viewing today, and I pray for you today that you uh, will know his voice, that you will listen to his voice, that you will obey his voice. In the name of Jesus, God bless you.